Welcome! Today we are looking at a Seiko Recraft, model number SNKN49. Seiko really came into its own during the 1960s and the 1970s. They were creating stylish and more importantly reliable timepieces. Over those decades, Seiko was able to refine their talents and begin to challenge the Swiss domination of the watch industry. To honor those old watches and traditions, Seiko launched its Recraft line. They combined the vintage aesthetics of their past with modern movements, incorporating not only automatic, but solar and kinetic movements within the Recraft line. More importantly, however, they have used contemporary watch sizes rather than the smaller watches of the 1960s and 70s. The Seiko Recraft I have here is model number SNKN49. The SNKN49 is an automatic with Seiko's 7S26 movement, which is also found in most of its Seiko 5 line, which means that it isn't hackable or hand winding, but it is a reliable and tested workhorse with both day and date complication. But the most striking feature of this watch is its dial. Before we begin, I would like to point out that getting the lighting just right to get photo and video of this watch was rather difficult. The highly reflective bronze dial made it difficult, but this truly is a beautiful watch, but unfortunately it's one that you may have to actually see in person to truly appreciate. But I have done my best here. The watch has a highly polished stainless steel casing. The watch itself has a very good finish with some slight rough angles, but not too bad. As I said before, the dial of the watch is a beautiful brown copper color with stainless steel markings at every hour, as well as the 12 and 6 in Arabic numerals. The hands are also stainless steel. You have a nice size crown at the 3 o'clock position, as well as a day and date at the 3 o'clock position. It has a very nice and thick chocolate brown leather strap. In fact, I was actually impressed with this strap compared to many of the straps you usually get with Seiko. It has stainless steel hardware with the Seiko logo. Turning the watch over, you can see the see-through case back, where you can see the 7S26 movement. The dial of the case is definitely its most beautiful feature. Looking at the dial, you can see that it has three layers. The very base layer contains the hands as well as the day-date complication. A slight raised up as you move out, and you can see the hour markers and the tallest layer meets up the crystal on the edges with cutouts for the hour indices. Both the front and back are made of hardlex crystal. Now Seiko's spec for the accuracy of the 7S26 movement is usually around 25 seconds a day, give or take. But this particular watch I found to be only 10 seconds fast a day. This watch is a little bit on the large side, with about 45 millimeters without the crown. and 48 millimeters with the crown. And about 12 millimeters thick. With watch straps of 22 millimeters. Now here's a view of the watch on my wrist, which is about seven inches. The watch is a little on the large side, but it's not very thick, at least compared to other watches I've worn. All in all, it's actually a rather comfortable watch. Simply put, it's an absolutely gorgeous watch, one that you really have to see in person to appreciate. It is very well made and it's actually very comfortable wear, with a very beautiful, nice and thick strap. With that beautiful bronze copper dial, it has a unique styling. I haven't seen anything quite like it. It's definitely a watch that people will stop and ask you about. I only have two very minor complaints about this watch. The first of which is that I wish it was hand winding, but that's a minor thing. The other is that I think the hands are maybe a little too small, and I wish that they moved further out towards the edges. Now, if you were a fan of vintage watches from the 1960s and 70s, especially vintage Seikos, then I would definitely recommend taking a look at this watch, as well as the entire Recraft line. But even if you're just looking for a very unique, beautiful watch, then this is definitely one to take a look at. It's definitely a little more on the dressy side, and it has a very unique style. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel for more watch reviews as they come.